Hey guys, Mitch here, World of Warships. This video is more a test for myself, just to make sure that, because uh, I got that RX 580. I know it's a three year old card, but it's a big upgrade from a 1050. So hopefully um, I can stream and record in um, max graphics, as the game is also in max graphics, uh, lag free ideally. That's what the test is for. So, looks like we're running good here, just make sure that recording is going, yeah it is, um, so, we'll see, tier 9 line, English UK, I don't, I'm don't. i not a fan of this ship, I really actually regret going down the UK line first, it's not my style, definitely not my style at all, my style is more Russian and German and American tanks, I like a battleship that can get in there, be a tank, take the hits, you know, like, t take it, if I'm going to die going down, at least the fleet behind me can rally and push in into victory. You know what I mean? And an English battleship, they're just, they're, they're just weak. They're, um, not necessarily damage-wise, they just can't take hits like the Russian or German or American ones. Definitely not my style. Not saying they're shit or bad, I'm just saying not my style. So, we'll do it with... <coughs> The um the Sinip, the tier seven Russian battleship. You can see I've got a fifty fifty percent uh victory rate on it. Um I don't have premium at the moment, which I will soon. Uh, just make sure I've got everything. So I've got my camo pack, the permanent one that I bought for this. And I did buy some of these for the English ones, which I definitely regret. Uh, some signals. I've been selling all my signals because I've got a a huge shortage of gold here as you can see not even a million and uh, I've already unlocked let's look at the German side I've already um, unlocked this I just I just can't buy it and this is one where I get torpedoes and then the British mark gets a 10k hydroacoustic um, one to see all the torpedoes with torpedoes itself and apparently it's sister ship the uh, the, tri uh, the, the trippets or whatever that might be pronounced incorrectly has way more torpedoes but doesn't have the hydroacoustics so at least I can push in with the British mark I can drop some torps I can see the torps I take the hits I've got like the secondary auxiliaries it is insane um, definitely my kind of style um, although the Russians are my style if I can have a fleet or a division with me to rally and work together as one unit I would be the tank as a Russian but I say Germany would be my style solo because Allows me to push and do a lot more things more safely and confidently by myself solo mode. Where with the Russian ship, I really kind of need to rally the fleet. And that's hard when when people don't, they want to push but they don't want to die, you know. So you need someone who's going to push in. And that's me. So, I've almost got it, but then I'm going to have the issue of buying it. Same as the German, I could do with the German one. This is one of the commanders that I bought. Now my advice, personally, don't buy these commanders. Um, I mean, if you want 1,500 boons, yeah. It depends if you want, but I'll show you one thing, right? So this is the Russian one, Dasha Perva. The thing that I don't like about it is if I go to my lion, this is another one I bought, Dasha Pervera. It's the same name see exact same name that's what I don't like about it that's a big throwing off especially when you get the mods to turn them all into female some of them look really uh, really cool cooler than the, the actual ones you buy so in my opinion I've wasted 3,000 double boons which costs a little bit on, on commanders uh, especially when hang on I'll show you one thing when I go to the American ship this one here, like, from the, uh, I got this level 10 commander, and I got that from the operations of the week, where you can get a commander like that anyway. So, being a new player, um, having to learn a lot of things the hard way, I've been a bit regretful, but it's always how I seem to learn everything in life the hardest way possible. So, I've, I've spent, honestly, I'm not going to say a figure, but well over $50 in the last, two three weeks that's all I played for so um I've spent a, a fair bit of uh, way too much money this is quite an expensive game really uh, free to play but 
quite an expensive game, especially when premium gives you pretty much double the money, rewards and everything. So, we're going to go play here with the, uh, the Russian one. Now, I'm absolutely happy that I got them camo packs and permanent ones with the Russian, and I'll do the same with the high tier German, but I'm disappointed I'd done that with the, uh, the UK one. As I said, it's not my style, and then when I sold the ships to get money for the next one, I've, I've lost the camo pack. Like, it's still there when I buy the ship back eventually, but, um, I'd really wish I could use it and still have them double boons, you know? Now, I did contact... Um, gaming support, like the War Gaming Center support for the refund thing, and ask, and um, well, they said no because I'd already used them. Now, I'm f I'm happy with that. That's fair. Either way, I'm happy with their decision. Um, oh, I'm a bit disappointed, but because I wanted to use them camo packs for other stuff, at least buy premium, but uh, I'll be buying premium soon. But I absolutely love this game, and I, I wish I played it years ago. So. Just remember, I'm only two, three weeks into it, so my accuracy and aiming ain't necessarily always the best how it should be. Um, but I have grinded a lot, so this would be somewhat decent, okay? So, let's hope that this is in max graphics on the recording release for the test of this. Okay, so I've got to remember, down here, these heavy, heavy explosives... Uh, for um, lighting on fire and really hitting um, on an angle. Armor penetration, if you hit on the angle, can bounce off. Although, with these Russian and German ships, regardless, I find armor penetration does insanely more damage overall. Like, if you're going to hit on the angle, just hit the turrets, disable their turrets or whatever. Um, if someone exposes themselves broadside, and you know if you're close enough, you can get the, the Citadel hits, wonderful. The American battleships, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I've heard, have a very high um, armor penetration rate on their battleships. They penetrate a lot, so that's quite a good thing. Now, I don't know what's going to happen here, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Just to let them know that I'm coming in hard. Now, I am scared shitless, obviously, on a battleship of destroyers. And the brisk mark that can see the torpedoes would change that dramatically. Now, there's no aircraft carriers here, so that's an absolutely great feature. But we do want this destroyer gone. AS, AP, really. You can see it is quite hard to hit them, eh? So I'm going to slow down a bit because he's definitely dropped torpedoes. That's 100%. The idea is just where. With the brisk mark, I could drop the hydroacoustic hydro sonar or on a cruiser I could as well and see them. Now... There the torps are. Now, there's definitely more torps than just that. We know that for sure. That's 100%. And the only reason why I launched my plane then, the fighter plane, is just in case they got spotters around. I want to get rid of them spotters. And I really want this destroyer gone. Now this is going to be hard. I'm going to have to take one of these torps. That's a bit obvious. So I have. That's okay. Now I won't turn into him because I don't want him hitting me citadel. Because this ship on the citadel is quite difficult. So I did get a citadel hit there. That's quite nice. So 
slow it down just to fuck with their, their aiming, their targets. Now these Russian ships, obviously, lighting them on fire is the key of, on, on, on normally how you destroy them. I'm just going to push straight in here. So he's gone. Now they're retreating because they know I'm coming in hard and fast. And they know it. See me at one shot before the mountain, please. One, two, three. Yeah, I will. Now I know there's torps coming. Mm. Incapacitated it. What's the next one do? Who cares? Let's get these torps under control. Thank God my heels up. Now going broadside like this with that battleship to my left and that destroyer not destroyed is really dangerous as I'm going to pull the cop a lot of torps if I don't correct myself here. But looks like I have the other secondary fleet on me as well and I'm broadside to them. So I kind of want to stop that like now if I can. ASAP would be nice. Here yeah, these torps come that we knew were coming. Dodged them. There should be more torps though, that's what I'm worried about. There they are. Got a nice feeling about that. Nice. Now we can, I get Citadel here, which is very, very dangerous, actually. Actually, big time dangerous. The reason why I'm doing it is to get away from them. Another heal in me. Good, about time. Okay. Now, this is a hard push as the fleet's back me, as I said. Still got the destroyer. That looks like the other side has been wiped out. Which is kind of frustrating. Now these next torps are definitely coming, so I want to get the hard, hard, hard out of here. But I do want this hit first. It might be really dangerous. Okay, now I've got to get out of here. To the left. Just in case there's a spotter. That island looks nice. There them torps are. So as long as these ships here can't get me broadside, I'm happy. As I'll get that amount of fire extinguisher, so that, that's really bad for the Russian, but that's one of the perks you get in the captain thing. So really what they should be doing to take me out is HE, 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 HE. Only got one here left. 
See that fleet side knows that it's 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 done it, so they're gonna be coming this way. I don't think anyone was really at all expecting such a, a hard push on my behalf, though. Now I'm going for the battleship here, as it's broadsiding. So this is my last heal. Now that's that next German one I was talking about that I can get once I got the money. Now watch me rip this apart. Imagine if I had that with torps. Now you can't get close to these German ships because the torps will just... It will really hurt. But him going broadside like that is, is very stupid. Especially if I was on an American uh, battleship. He's really screwed here. The real question I'm wondering is how many actual arm heals does this prick have left? No one face straight onto him. Uh, did I didn't get my? Uh, did I get the shells off? Yeah, I did, and they hit. Okay, so that was the battle. You can see it was unfortunate that I didn't get a smoke screen. It's over there. I should, I should have been smoke screened for help. Um, that cruiser should have pushed with me, so we could have seen the torps. Uh, pushing as a fleet, as United fleet, or facing front was pushing up is literally you're gonna you're gonna destroy everything in your path, really. No. Um, so, as you can see, we won that push on that flank by me pushing with that, that destroyer. The other flank got crushed, and I didn't have, didn't have enough heals left in me for that. Here's the other uh, fleet over there, as you can see, way on the far side. Um, really just, I, I, I don't understand, personally, myself. Uh, this should be a win, though. So... This is World of Warships. If you've never played it, I recommend definitely 110% giving it a go. It is a free-to-play game, although it lures you in with money. It's a 100% great game. I think we will win this. Um, this is still a very close match, although uh, me pushing in like that to destroy that flank as quick as I did is honestly, I think, what won it. Um, comments, uh, comment what you think about that. That is a tier uh, five, uh, or honestly a four. Oops, God, unlucky. So five to seven tier. So I was up tiered, which makes it a lot easier. Um, I can't go in a, uh, the Iowa American ship head on with the Russian. They they just rip you apart with their armor pen. Um, and as you can see at the end, I've got limited fire extinguisher, so HE, light me on fire, keep me up, it's the way to go. 
Now, as he's shooting down the spotter here, that's why I kept having my fighter pile up, just, uh, just in case I had a spotter. Hopefully this Kong should destroy this guy as he's got a lot more health with the assistance of old mate. Nurses their fleets over there. And it's great to see this uh, viewing as the observer from above like this. is a great view to see. Especially if it was a tournament and you can see both ships and you're like um, a commentator. So that was an easy destruction there with them two on him and how he was stuck on that rock. He was pretty much gone from get-go. But if he was a German ship, for example, he could have dropped torps facing uh, mainly that way into him as he comes. And it would have won, at least killed that one. So we will watch the end as it looks like this is a victory as we still have our up the top here. We're looking here. We have the uh, most health by far. Our little uh, destroyer there. Um, I'm actually going to add him as a friend. So Jeverus. So I can talk to him after, add the contacts. Plays well. Now they're facing head on to try to avoid it, but as you can see, it, 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 it's game. Now this guy knows it, so he's going full on in. He knows it's just a matter of time. He wants as much damage as possible um, before. Here are these torps come, as I said. Remember German uh, ships have the torpedoes, so... Ooh, that would have hurt. I personally would have waited till right about... What about now is to drop the torps? Would have faced a bit more right to get in. I really wish I had the silver to buy it. Uh, that ship, as I can already, I have it unlocked. It's going to be a question of do I buy the tier 8 Russian ship or the tier 7 on the torps. That's going to be the uh, brutal question. Really awaiting me. So he's dropped more torps. Um, they are good looking like they are good torps actually. So, I mean, the power of the... Imagine me pushing like that with torps and being able to see torps on the Brismark. Uh, Brismark. It would be literally game-changing. So, all can see. We're watching these guys battle with the AA up here. So as you can see, this is a victory. This is over this game. Now it's just old mate left. Um, T5 Kong versus T7 and a T6. It's game. So he should just sail in, try to get as much damage as he can. I mean, it, it's game.
This is World of Warships again guys, once again. If you haven't tried it, please I highly do recommend that you play it. And remember this video is more or less a test run for me to make sure that I can get high quality, really high quality graphics in the recording as well as the game. Because I did just place my card with a RX 580. Now I'm aware that that is a 3 year old graphics card, it's not the peak anymore but it cost me a bit under 300, about 280 all up to get it nearby and have it posted here. So, um, it's a big upgrade from what I had, and I don't play the latest games or, you know, I remember the Nintendo Mario Brothers. So, the graphics of games have never been like what sells the game to me. It's always the mechanics and, and honestly, the people too, the, uh, the, the community is a huge part of it, especially in MMOs. Like, I'm really, really giving up on a lot of them MMOs, especially uh, WoW Classic. So I found WoW Classic's got a lot of uh, elitists that think that they're great, and they are absolute trash, and I uh, got kicked from a few guilds proving that. So, victory, okay. So if I had premium there, we're looking at, you know, double that, double that. 2000 silver, absolutely outstanding performance. So with premium, which I've got to get soon, would game change that. Thank you for watching, guys. And as I said, it's more of a test. And give us a thumbs up if you like it. And leave your comments. And in the comments, be straight up honest on what you think on all of it. Thank you for watching. And I uh, hope wherever you are, you have a great day and night. Love and light. Namaste.